all songs are awesome to start out with on the ukulele. However, sometimes we need to take a little step back and check out some transitions between chords that might be a little tricky. So that's where the combo challenge comes into play. So today we're gonna do a combo challenge. C and G, C and G. So all that means is we're just gonna go back and forth between, that, between those two chords. You can drink some wine with me if you want, as always, not necessary. So if you are someone who needs um, a little extra boost playing your C to your G chord, if every time you come across it in a song you fumble just a little bit or you stop playing and you kind of have to find your bearings again, then this exercise is for you. So we're just gonna start. Um, I'm just gonna do a simple downstroke with my thumb, with my right hand over here, and I'm gonna do four counts on C and four counts on G. That's it. We're gonna start super simple. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. C, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. G, two, three. Keep going. C, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. Okay, super simple, maybe a little fast. How'd you do? Okay, um, now let's do two counts per chord. So I'm actually gonna go a little bit slower, but we're gonna do C, two, G, two. C, two, G, two. All right, let's try that. One, two, ready, go. C, two, two, C, two, G, two, C, two, G, two, C, two, G, two. Nailed it. Okay, last challenge for today. We're gonna actually go to our um, kind of standard down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up pattern. We're gonna do that on C, and then you guessed it, switch it between C and G, okay? Um, so we'll do four counts on C, four counts on G. Here we go. One, two, three, four. into like a little zen flow state there. How about you? So I hope that helps. If you're having trouble between your C and your G chord, you can do these exercises a couple times. Um, also just grab your ukulele if you're just like watching some TV, just going back, back and forth between those C and G chords, working on those muscles in your left hand, um, in your chord hand, and I hope that helps. Cheers to you, and I'll see you next time. Ukulele wine time.